Thank you, Kids Performing Show Choir, performing our theme song, Who I Want to Be. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Pops of the Year 2017 Grand Finals. We are your hosts, and I am Andre Rasmussen. And I am Yasmin Yon. I am Simran Kaur. And I'm the one and only Ong Julin. Seriously? Yeah. Pop Star of the Year is now in its ninth year and is proudly organized by Kids Performing Academy of the Arts and Precious Talent International. This year, it's proudly presented by Celebrity Kids, fashion wear for kids like you and me. We would also like to thank our other sponsors, Club Med and Butcher's Kitchen. And tonight, we have an amazing show for you. A show filled with the best young talents from Singapore. Yes, tonight we will present the exciting grand finals made out of 17 contestants from 4 to 14 years old. We will also have a fashion show by Celebrity Kids. Look out for me, I'm a model. And I'm a model too. I'll be performing in the Young Stars Showcase by Kids Performing Academy of the Arts. And I'm still the amazing host of Pop Star the Year. All right, guys, we better get on with the competition, or else we'll still be here until tomorrow. Okay, Pop Star of the Year is made up of four categories. In category A, the contestants are four to six years old. In category B, the contestants are seven to nine years old. There are five contestants in this category because a wild card was won in this category. The wild, card con the wild card contestant won with the most popularity votes. In category C, there are four contestants who are 10 to 11 years old. And in category D, there are four contestants who are 12 to 16 years old. Each contestant of category A will each sing one song only. But the contestants of categories B, C and D will each sing two songs. And the gold winners of category B, C and D were, are eligible to compete in the sing-off to win the title of Grand Champion Pop Star of the Year. I just can't wait to see who the Grand Champion of 2017 will be. Are the bets on the table? Of course they are. But we can't have a competition without our distinguished judges. We are also excited and pleased to introduce our esteemed panel of five judges. Let me introduce our first judge. Our judges have just came in. Mr. Stephen Francis is a renowned singer and music director. Like our young talents here, Stephen started singing at eight years old and now has 46 years of experience. He has produced many albums and performed with and helped kickstart careers of many local artists, including our very own artistic director, Miss Copo. Stephen Francis performs mainly pop, funk, soul, R&B and jazz music in different countries, clubs, concerts and music festivals in Asia, Europe and the US. Please welcome Mr. Stephen Francis. Rennie Singham is one of the most sought after and accomplished contemporary jazz vocalists. A former lawyer, Rennie has a career spanning over 14 years. Her versatility is also evident in the several music styles she's embraced, which include Broadway, pop, folk, rock, ethnic, and fusion. Her debut album, With the Song in My Heart, was produced by Mistaro Jeremy Montiaro in 2004 and marked a significant milestone in her career. Rennie produced a second album, Contiment, in 2011. Her playful yet caressing vocals likened through many j legendary jazz vocalists, including Billie Holiday, Diana Washington, and Sarah Vaughan, continue to woo the hearts of critics and fans alike. She doesn't just she doesn't just sing the song, sometimes she becomes a song. Ladies and gentlemen, a big hand for Singapore's songbird, Miss Rani Singham. <laughs> With close to 30 years of experience in the arts and entertainment industry, Lim Sek is one of the leading producers and talent managers in Singapore and the ASEAN region today. Co-founder and chief executive of production and talent management company, Music and Movement, also known as M&M. m, &M. m, &M. get it? Yum. Lim was also creative director of Sing Singapore. 
He also initiated Singapore Music Festival 1999 to 2001, which featured many top Asian artists from Hong Kong, Singapore, Malaysia, and Taiwan. But it also introduced pop music, but it also introduced local audiences to pop music from Vietnam, Thailand, Malay, Indonesia, and Mongolia. To date, M&M remains the only Singapore company to produce and direct concerts by regional names like Judy Ong, Tracy Huang, Jeff Sang, Daniel Chen, Kelly Chen, and Sandy Lam, and managed artists like Tanya Chua and Nathan Hartono. Please put your hands together to welcome Mr. Lim Sek. She was once hailed as, as, the, as the queen of comedy, and for the last eight years, Andrea Teo sat tall on an entertainment throne as the VP of Entertainment at Resorts World in Sentosa. Age day, she was in charge of all entertainment content within the resort. This includes the creation and production of live shows and street performances in Universal Studios, Singapore. Ail is the concerts, ex exclusive gala shows, large openings, and original musical theatrical productions. In the 1990s, Andrew reigned in broadcasting as the TV sitcoms were huge hits, drawing record-breaking ratings never seen before on the English-speaking channel in Mediacorp. Her work is now firmly entrenched in the cultural fabric of the country with a uniquely Singaporean characters like Po Chu Kong, the livable Tan family from under one roof, and the fabulously controversial singlish using Rara Show, winning a string of awards including multiple Asia TV awards and a bronze medal for sitcom at the New York Festival. We are so honored to have Miss Andrea Teo as one of our judges. Please welcome Miss Andrea Teo. Last but not least, Rudolf van der Ven has been in the entertainment industry for more than 40 years. He was instrumental in creating and producing iconic events for Singapore, such as the International Salsa Festival and the Singapore Battle of the Bands. He has directed, scripted and produced for numerous venues and clubs, including Resorts World Theatre. As senior producer of Resorts World Sentosa, he has brought in superstars such as Andy Lau, Ame, David Blaine, Janet Jackson, One Republic, Aaron Clark, Megan Trainer, and many more. He is currently the ex executive producer of Pickle Singapore managing events such as I Like Marina Bay, the Ultra Music Festival, and soon the Marina Bay Countdown 2017. Would you kindly put your hands together and welcome Mr. Rudolf van der Ven. Judges, I believe you have in front of you the judging sheets. The judges will be assessing the performance based on the following. Vocal quality, 25%. Technique, 25%. Presentation, 30%. And the star factor, 10%. Now, if your math skills are good, you would have realized that these percentages only add up to 90%. That's because the last percentage comes from you, our audience. Your, your voting makes up 10% of the final decision. Voting will close at the end of round one. So if you have this surge of love for your contestants, please continue to vote. So shall we start? Yeah. 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 Yeah.